What is going on guys? My name is Roman back again from Roman Reviews here with another episode reaction to Demon Slayer or Kimetsu no Yaiba episode 2. Now a lot of people did not like my very first reaction, although none of them really specified why. I don't realize um, really why. Also, I think I'm, what might have happened is it was extremely hard to see the video. Like From what I'm looking at right now from my recording device, it looks clear to me like it's just dark enough, um, just dark enough where it, it will probably bypass a copyright claim. Also, right now I have my logo, but I also had this mark on it as well. But I'm taking that off because I felt like that was just too dark, um, and I could hardly see it. And also, I was also um, accidentally missed did the actual subtitles, so it is fixed now, and I will constantly re be looking at it to make sure the subtitles are all good. But yeah, anyways, guys, I, 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 I like I said, I do think that the show is is good. Um, it is a shonen. It is a shonen based show. But the major complaint that I had with the show was simply because the the scene that was I, I felt like ha was supposed to be the emotional turn for our main character just wasn't as impactful as I wanted it to be. But we'll see what happens. Like I said, very first episode. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna I'm gonna give it some I'm just gonna cut it some slack. We'll see what happens. Uh this is going to be episode two trainer Sakano uh Sakanji Uru Uroko da Urokodaki. Damn, that's a weird name. That that's a weird last name. I've actually never came across that one. But yeah, I am ready to jump into this episode so guys without any further ado let us jump in to the second se season? No second episode of Demon Slayer Sun in three two one let's jam and hopefully it's going to be loud enough so you guys can at least pick up the sound from my headphones it's a colander Freaking slapped his hand. I, I want to know how this whole... Yeah, with him and his little sister... She's in that... That was good. I wonder if she's ever going to get, like... Normal. I guess. By the way, I will have to say that the intro of this is fantastic. Because I, I, I thought at first it was the ending, but the color scheme on this is fantastic. And this is the same animation style. It's not like... The first thing that comes to mind is uh, JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, because the animation style is completely different from the actual show and the intro. Well, for the, at least the first two parts. And third parts, if you think about Third and fourth part. No, third part. I send bits and pieces of forth, so. But the thing that really stands out to me about this opening is the color schemes that they'll, you'll see. That. That's so clean. That is such a cool art style. It has like a manga effect on it, and that's what I thoroughly enjoy about the opening. The opening is fantastic. Like, it's visually uh, this it's visually remarkable. But from what I can see, people have elemental attacks. Uh, our main character seems to be water. I also remember. Uh, hold on. I'll, 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 I'll say that later. Oh, be able to cover it. It's been shown to say they can carry her. Uh, 
<laughs> also, is it just me, or is th are the subtitles on the show like smaller on Crunchyroll's end? Then her's gonna poke out. Yep. Don't lose your way. I'm sorry. <laughs> I know totally different studio and series. You can smell the smell. Is there blood on the on the door? Yeah, there was. So demons can talk. Uh, she remembers. Oh no, that her mouth was drooling. Okay, never mind. Oh shit! Damn, he attacked fast with that hatchet. Ooh, I like that. Thoroughly enjoying this animation style. And she's so entranced by the by the flesh that's right in front of her. I know it's a muzzle on her mouth. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! She kicked his head off! She literally kicked his head off! You know, I was trying to find, like, some head pun, but... He grew arms! <laughs> Gotta say, UFO Table is doing a damn good job with this animation style. I haven't seen a UFO Table or, um, or UFO Table. Um, I've only seen bits and pieces of them. 
Like some things of Garden of uh, Garden Sinners. Or Kino Kyokai. Hey, where do you use your head? Wonder if there's a reason for that. Can't tell. Couldn't tell if that was 3D animated. If it. Yeah, probably not the best idea to do that. I like those transitions. Those are cool transitions. I haven't seen transi transitions like that in a. <laughs> It's weird. It has like a comic feel to it sometimes. Uh, well, especially this episode. I have a feeling this demon might be something more important because he's had a lot of, like, screen time and, like, some influence on this episode. No, oh, it's a guy with a mask. Looks like he's got a scar right here, almost. He can sense, like, an aura. It's very interesting. Like, I have a feeling this demon's going to play a role. Maybe not. It j he just... He, the, I, I mean, I'm, I'm actually in interested because they gave him a lot of personality just from his little introduction, this demon. Oh yeah, because the... Is she in the body? Oh. Yeah, but remember that guy you're with. Did he or take the bodies and already bury them? Because I didn't see the bodies in the house. That answers, that answers my question. So he's the trainer.
slap some sense in him almost. Mm. Cause he's undecisive. What if she devours a an already dead person? Does that is that fine? Oh, you know it. My guess is gonna he's gonna put her in a situation where she's super hungry and might have to basically put someone innocent. Maybe, guess. It's just a guess. We just got to the test. What are you talking about, dude? Wonder if there's something in the mountains. Oh, there's traps. He needs to sense the traps. And it predicts where he's going to move to. Mm, so it makes it harder to, the, to breathe. I've actually been in a place with really thin air.
<laughs> oh shit. This is such cool animation style, I gotta admit. It is, it is CG. It is, yeah. Some of it is CG, but it, it look, doesn't look bad. It's not like terrible CG. I've seen a lot worse in terms of CG. Hmm. His heir. You completely passed out. Are we going to see the ending? It is. Oh, I know those flowers. That <sighs> I saw them all the time in Soul Eater. Also, no, 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 was it Soul Eater? Also, it was shown in Tokyo Ghoul a lot. I think it's like a, I think it's like a representation of like almost like death in some way, some form. Oh god, that means the guy in the yellow is in love with the sister. Interesting though. I'm guessing there's like those are like maybe other students or at least disciples. Oh, that's so cool. Your resolve is... <laughs> uh, 
that was actually really cool. That was like a cool like transition kind of thing, where like they actually popped out of the manga. That's really cool. I'm the, like the artistic style of this show is by far probably one of my favorites. It, it, it by far blows out anything of this current season right right now. We'll see what happens with One Punch Man, um, in terms of uh, animation artistical style. I'm I'm still wondering. JC Staff is known for um some outlandish, um animation styles. Looking at Yushoku Kiki no Soma. But we'll see what happens. That, although the art style, just the style of it is really clean. It's really, like, crisp in a way. And that's the one thing that is honestly keeps on, like, popping out at me is the art style. But yeah, anyways, guys, that was episode two of Demon Slayer. I'm going to be watching We Never Learn Next, and I'm looking forward to that as well. So I'm going to go from something. Th- although it did feel weird. Like, this episode for the first half, um, for when they were finding that demon, which I will admit was very interesting. They gave a lot of personality and, like, a lot of, like... Like, they didn't just build him up like, like, hey, this is some generic bad guy. They gave him, like, a personality and, like, some character. And they killed him off, like, uh, in the half episode. It was a very interesting choice, and it's something that is very rare. And I enjoyed that, because it's, I thought, like, I it made me feel like, oh, maybe this guy's an actual character. Because they're giving him, like, sh- they're showing how he's talking and how he interacts with people and stuff like that. And he has this com- com- comedic sense w- during the fight in some cases. But no, they just killed him off. So, very interesting, and I and I do appreciate that. Uh, but yeah, we'll, we'll see what happens. This was definitely, it felt like a comedic up in the very first half, and then it went serious later. But next one's going to be lighthearted in terms of the next show I watch, uh, next react to, um, really soon. But anyways, guys, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys next time. See ya.